This is an Olympia AE adding machine. In particular it is the AE8. That's because it has eight digits in the main register and it only allows seven digits of input. The keyboard is pretty standard for adding machines of this time. It was made in 1967 and was in production until about 1974 or so. In 1969 they changed the uh, casing a bit, but this is the first version. So this one is from 67 or 68. As I said, this is a fairly standard set of controls. You can enter a number. As you can see, you can only do seven digits and you can then press plus to add that number to the main register. The number is, is printed in black and then I'll add another number to find the uh, total you can press either one of these buttons this is the uh, subtotal, this diamond shaped button so that prints the, the current total with a little diamond after it but doesn't clear the internal register so you can add another number and then call up the total again this time I'll use this button this is the normal total button which prints the total with an asterisk at the end and also clears the internal register so when I now start adding again, it starts from zero. You can also subtract, of course. So I'll enter a number and subtract something by pressing the minus button instead of the plus button. What's subtracted is printed in red with a minus sign. Let me show you what we've had so far. So an addition, the subtotal, a total and a subtraction with a total. It can also do uh, negative totals so if you subtract a large number from zero it will, uh, it will print the total in red because it's negative and the total has the asterisk at the end but also a minus sign. Uh, this button here that is the non-add button so you can enter a number and press that non-add button to print that number without affecting the total. That's useful for customer numbers, order numbers or anything else like that. Uh, the C button is to clear the keyboard. If you've made a mistake you can clear what you've entered. And lastly the R button here is for repetition. So this allows you to do multiplications. If I enter a number and add it by and also press the R button it gets added but it's not cleared from the input. So I can add it however many times I want. I can then even append a zero and add it a few more times. Press the total. So in this case I have multiplied 123 by 25 five times in the units column and then twice in the tens column. When you're using those uh, repeats you can of course then clear the uh, uh, input so that you, uh, yeah, you can add stuff other than this number that you're multiplying. Uh, Oh yeah, and these buttons are simply double zero and triple zero for the end. So it's all a fairly standard machine. Uh, 
I'll, uh, I'll show you the inside a little bit. First of all there's this uh, cover here that you can pull up that gives you access to the printer ribbon. Unfortunately it's a bit too narrow this opening so it's really difficult to get the ribbon over these guides at the back and that is probably why they changed the case. The uh, improved case in 1969 that uh, is a case in two parts that allows you to lift this whole top section off. So yeah, that gives you much, much more access to the uh, internals. One moment please. I'll, uh, I'll open up the case more fully. So first I'll uh, pull out the plug to, uh, yeah, to make it safe. At the back there are two screws. There we go. I'll also have to remove this paper. Uh, this paper is just uh, held in place with these two uh, parts that are made of plastic. They just uh, bend apart. Uh, yeah, this, this top part here, this bit of plastic, has the uh, uh, yeah, edge here for uh, tearing off the paper but when you pull it up it also allows the paper to uh, slide through. Anyway, I'll remove this top case. You have to pull this forward at the front to get it off. And there we go. It's uh, there's qu yeah, there's quite a lot of room in this uh, in the casing. You can see here that uh, there's uh, yeah, uh, this power lead has been just wired in. What's happened probably is that the original uh, power cord was uh, lost, and there's a was a. Uh, a a plug and socket here that's rather non-standard and so yeah you can't really get a replacement power cord with the right uh, plug on it so they've just taken out this, this uh, socket and wired it in directly. It was like this when I, I got this machine. Let me put the paper back in. Come on. Now, let's uh, plug it in again and uh, yeah, show it in action.
That was the Olympia AE8. Thank you for watching.